Welcome to your daily forecast for Saturday. It's August 12th, 2017, and we are looking at Saturn as the ruling planet of the day, plus the fifth and sixth waning moon phases and Revati and Ashwini Nakshatra. So let's get started with Saturn, who's going to be impacting your entire day on Saturday. Saturn is the planet of all of the nine planets we talk about. That is the one that gives us uh, the need and the ability to work hard. So he's the worker, kind of the manual labor uh, representative of all of the planets. And it's actually quite essential in our life to put in hard work uh, in certain circumstances. And these are the things that help us understand the lessons, the big karmic lessons we need to understand as individuals that shape and enhance our life. And Saturn gives us patience to get through it, gives us perseverance to stick with something, and the discipline it takes to have a work ethic to accomplish something, especially those things that are harder and more challenging in our lives. So for this Saturday, think about your own work. Uh, if it's your job, if it's working at a relationship, working in your family, working through your own emotions, um, and figure out ways you can improve that or ways you can commit more to the process to um, dig deeper and persevere in scenarios that need that in your life because you have an end goal. There's going to be something that's worth it. Uh, if it's uh, a promotion, if it's, um, you know, getting a new house, like persevering through the process of building the house or getting the loan or all the steps that you have to go through that can be a headache. Um, think of those things and ways you can work with the planet Saturn to enhance your own commitment and discipline and perseverance. And finally, remember on Saturdays, it's a great day for acts of kindness. Doing something outside of your own self that serves someone else is not only a remedy for Saturn, but something that's coming back to you to help you and will give you a boost to have more patience, to have more perseverance. So uh, feeding people is always a really great thing. Um, giving your clothes away, uh, clothes that you no longer want, kind of cleaning out and passing them on if someone else can still use them or even buying clothes for other people uh, or taking care of um, something if people need medical support. So uh, sharing your own service to help others on a Saturday and it also it comes back to you as uh, energy to carry on in your own work. And one other thing you can do is um, the crow is associated with Saturn as well. So you can feed crows. Uh, you can feed them breadcrumbs, biscuits, crackers, um, things like that. And crows live in so many places around the world, it's usually pretty easy to find them. So if you do see them, um, it can be a sign of Saturn. So go ahead and offer them food as well. So the moon phases I mentioned are the fifth and sixth waning moon. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time, the west coast of North America, is our time zone. Uh, so adjust it according to where you live in the world or where you're watching. And the fifth waning moon will go... Uh, is starting this day off until about 10.20 a.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. After that, the sixth waning moon will start and rule the rest of the day. So that fifth waning moon connects you to the divine feminine, to the archetype of the mother goddess. And we're in the waning cycle, so the mother goddess has a bit more of fierce, even wrathful energy. If you think of the mother bear who's protecting her cubs, <laughs> Um, it, so it's an energy of the divine feminine that is creativity, that is power, um, that is nurturing, but doing so in a very protective way. So tapping into that, if you connect with the particular form of the divine mother, the goddess, um, if you are a mother or you need that mothering energy in your life, uh, seeking that out during the fifth waning moon. It's not a great uh, moon phase to do activities that require a lot of destruction, if that's um, really breaking something down or cutting off a relationship, um, it's better to wait for um, another moon phase to do that. The sixth waning moon phase that comes about 1020 PDT and will rule the rest of your Saturday, that connects you to the archetype Maruga or Skanda, who is the warrior. 
he carries a, a lance or a vel with him that is protection and uh, is something you can also carry with you. Uh, they're small copper vels that Palai Center and Astroved sell. Um, they're great to have in your pocket, in your purse, in your wallet, and then you always have an item of protection. Uh, the sixth waning moon gets you through changes with health, so remedying any sort of illness, disease, uh, taking medicine, going to a doctor. It's very helpful for anything concerning your debts, if you can take care of uh, credit card debt, pay things off, look at your finances, map some of that out and get clarity. Uh, it's helpful for real estate. Maruga can guide you with a land, property, um, management, uh, buying, selling, real estate deals, and also confrontations that you have to handle. Um, it's a good energy to have that extra support, like you are the warrior um, and know how to handle a confrontation with someone. So it's a very empowering, uh, courageous energy on the sixth waning moon. And then the moon is moving through uh, Pisces. It's at, the, it's at the end of the zodiac cycle. So uh, naturally Pisces is the 12th house and Revity is the final of the 27 stars in our cycle. And then we begin again when the moon moves into Aries. So we're right at that, um, that transition in the cycle. Uh, the moon will be in Revity until 5.20 p.m. PDT. Uh, Revity is a gentler star where it's good for peaceful activities like meditation, um, healing activities, things that are creative and can even be artistic and musical. Uh, from a business side, it's a good nakshatra or star to handle business or financial transactions or sort of trade um, exchanging of goods type of uh, work. So if you have any work, I know it's a Saturday, but often those deals can still be made. Revity is a good time to do that. Uh, again, it's also a good time for your own personal meditation practice and things that are going to calm you and move you into a healing, peaceful state. And then Ashwini, we begin at 5.20, so it'll be in the evening and carry you into Sunday. This is the first star in the cycle, and it's about initiation. It's about getting things started, uh, laying a foundation, uh, starting off a new project. It's a very fast-moving, swift nakshatra. Um, it's also known for healing, so any type of uh, healing that you need to do for yourself or another, if that's your field, uh, offering medicines or healing or uh, services that are going to help improve physical and mental and emotional well-being. It's powerful to do during a Shwini. So that's the wrap up for your Saturday. Let's do your invocation and you will be prepared and aligned with the celestial beings for August 12th. So first we invoke Ganesha and he uh, clears away the obstacles and gives us clarity and more understanding so we can make better decisions. Well, chant his seed sound gum. Gum, gum, gum. Ganesha, please remove the obstacles, any type of burden in our path, and give us a shortcut, another way to success with greater clarity and understanding in what we must tackle on this Saturday. We invoke Saturn. Om Shani Charaya Namaha. We ask Saturn for lessons to develop our own work ethic that's going to serve us well in any and all areas of our life, to be patient and to stick with the project, to persevere through the challenges, and to see the big picture that there's going to be growth and there's going to be success if we put in the work. We ask for the mother goddess to protect and provide nurturing on the fifth waning moon and Maruga to bring us the courage of the warrior on the sixth waning moon. And for Revati to guide us as we complete things and then Ashwini to guide us as we're going to initiate and start a new cycle, new projects, new endeavors. 
And remembering always extending ourselves to others, especially on a Saturday, brings great joy, brings great uh, education and learning and expanding of our own understanding of things like how the time shaktis impact us, how kindness and compassion can change anything in our lives and help us have a new perspective. So enjoy your Saturday, put in the work that needs to be done, take care of yourself, complete cycles and begin new ones, and come back and join us for another session on Planet with Paru. And as always, we give thanks to Dr. Ply for his guidance in making this possible. Please check out all the opportunities you have on AstroVed to uh, participate in rituals and remedies, learn more about the planets, and really transform your life through greater understanding of time and not wasting a second. Namaste, have a great Saturday.